although all of the features used to identify Neanderthals can be found in Homo sapiens individuals, the combination of these features can be used to define the unique Neanderthal anatomy. This is somewhat problematic since there are differences in Neanderthal anatomy over time. They do exist for more than 200,000 years and differences uh, which are geographic. So the quote classic Neanderthal anatomy is more typical of those populations in Western Europe after the ice ages had helped adapt them to the cold. Neanderthals in general possessed a long trunk, short legs, and a robust skeleton. The size of their muscle attachment sites imply that they had considerable muscle power. The skull and face were long, the forehead was low, there were protruding brow ridges, and the rear of the brain case was round. So while they had very large brains, the skull and brain had a different shape. The skull was low but long, as opposed to Homo sapiens, where it, the skull is shorter, but more rounded. Some Neanderthals actually had brain sizes considerably larger than those of the average modern Homo sapiens. They were a bit shorter in height overall. Males perhaps averaged five foot six in height, but because of how robust their skeletons were, they may have been 30% larger than modern humans.